If you liked today's video, please hit that subscribe button and check out more of our amazing content here at Yesterday's Entertainment Tomorrow. Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Ryan and this is Yesterday's Entertainment Tomorrow. If you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. We could really use the people's watching. I quickly wanted to go into this article which appeared today from Bounding in the Comics. And the title of this article from John Trent is, A New Rumor Reveals George Lucas' Initial Reactions to Ryan Johnson's Star Wars The Last Jedi and J.J. Abrams' The Rise of Skywalker. This is coming from YouTuber Doomcock. He just released a new video. Bounding in the Comics is covering that. And then I am covering <laughs> the article from Bounding in the Comics. Now, Doomcock's video really goes into the minutia of George Lucas' reaction to The Last Jedi in the Rise of Skywalker, which I'm not really going to get into, but basically the crux of the video is George Lucas says, oh my god, this movie's great, oh my god, it's super, and going back and going, this movie is shit, I can't believe what they did to my franchise. But what I did want to cover here is the George Lucas cut, the rumored cut that Doomcock is saying did in fact happen. There's a couple of cuts that are rumored to be out there, which is the Kathleen Kennedy cut, which is what we got in theaters, the J.J. Abrams cut of the film, the Bob Iger, Disney's former CEO and still helping to head up Star Wars. He has his own cut, and a George Lucas cut as well. Now, Doomcock says here, Doomcock explains that Lucas was brought in for a screening of The Rise of Skywalker before the movie was released. Goes on to explain that he was not happy with what he saw, but saw a way he could improve the film so he pitched his ideas along those lines and was allowed to take a pass at re-editing Rise of Skywalker to fix it. Uh, he then goes on to reference that's Doomcock, a previous source from back in December, who detailed that Lucas came up with an idea for a secret Skywalker in the film, a proper Skywalker, making the Rise of Skywalker perhaps make a little more sense and probably the version where Rey is not Rey Skywalker. While Doomcock's new source does not confirm the plot aspect of the Secret Skywalker, he did indicate he confirms that there is a George Lucas edit of The Rise of Skywalker. And Doomcock explains, while this new source has not confirmed the Secret Skywalker angle, it does maintain that a George Lucas cut of this film does exist, and that rumors of last-minute changes that leaked last December were referencing Lucas's efforts to save the Rise of Skywalker. Why does this matter? Well, we have Dave Filoni and John Favreau fighting Kathleen Kennedy right now um, for the future of Star Wars, and it looks like both Dave and John have won. And even though they just announced the Taika Waititi uh, upcoming Star Wars film, George Lucas, Bob Chapek, Bob Iger, John and Dave are kind of pushing Star Wars into the future to become something successful again and bring the fandom back together. Those people divided who hated Last Jedi, like me, hated Rise of Skywalker, uh, which is not me. It's probably because I thought Last Jedi was going to be here and really was down here from what I liked of it. And my initial thoughts of Rise of Skywalker were down here and I got to about here. So if I'm pleasantly surprised, I actually enjoyed that film. But what does it matter if there's a George Lucas cut of the film? We probably never see it, right? And that's where it's wrong. There's going to be a lot of comics rumored and books rumored that are going to retcon some of Last Jedi and some of Rise of Skywalker. And that's just the beginning because there's also rumored films. Um, and this is coming from Mike Zero. Rumored that there's going to be a Last Jedi new cut and a new Rise of Skywalker cut that's going to take those retcons from the books and comics and make them really complete. And these versions will be released on Disney Plus with all the changes. There'll be a bunch of retcon movies leading into the new films in the future of Star Wars without some of the hate using the word SJW, but those SJW politics of Kathleen Kennedy and her crew down there who some people believe ruined Star Wars, and I'm going to say that, well, I didn't enjoy the films, um, I wasn't too big on the SJW stuff, but I didn't find it was the reason that Star Wars was ruined, it's kind of the people who were involved, um, and that basically was Kathleen Kennedy. So, will we ever see the George Lucas cut of The Rise of Skywalker? That remains to be seen, but it's cool knowing that it at least exists. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, like, subscribe. Again, we need the peeps. My name is Ryan from Yesterday's Entertainment Tomorrow, and I'll catch you next time.